Hey, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to this interactive encoder shootout. Today, we're doing a comparison that, frankly, I didn't see coming. vMix RTMP versus vMix SRT. In theory, these should be the same, but they're not. Let's get into it. You typically use RTMP to deliver a live stream to a destination while SRT is more often used for transport streams. These use cases get blurred all the time, but at the end of the day, SRT and RTMP are containers that carry live video. This video stream can be any quality, and theoretically, you can send the exact same video stream down both. But when testing vMix versus other encoders and previous encoder shootouts, I realized that they look different, even when the quality should be the same. Yeah, the user interfaces between RTMP and SRT look different, but I would assume that the stream should be the same quality. To demonstrate, we created four test streams to YouTube using these specs, which have become our standard. Check out the video in the description to learn more about our methodology. We did a hardware encoder test on both SRT and RTMP, and then a software encoder test on both. This is to demonstrate any differences between NVIDIA's NBank encoding and X264 software encoding. So, it's testing time. Before we go on, head to the description and watch all four archive streams in a blind test. Take notes, pick your favorites, and then expand the descriptions inside those videos to reveal which is which. Let's take a pause, and then I'll come back and we can compare notes. So, what did you think? Leave your comments below. I'll be quick with this one. My overall preference is vMix RTMP with software encoding. Movement is smoother, color depth is better, and I'm using the fading color gradients and the still color gradients to scope that out. There's much less stair-stepping and stuttering in software RTMP streams than others. Software encoding seems to bring out less detail in confetti, which I've noticed is a pattern in software encoding overall. But for me, this isn't worth it, as color depths and smoothness are more important for more use cases. Despite some trade-offs between them, in my opinion, RTMP looks better than SRT, and you should default to software encoding if you have the processing headroom. vMix processes SRT and RTMP very differently, and I'm not sure why. This difference is obvious when you open up the Windows Task Manager. When streaming via SRT, vMix just takes more processing power, the encoding is happening inside the vMix software program. When streaming RTMP, on the other hand, FFmpeg opens up as a background process inside the vMix software section. And for whatever reason, this seems to look better. I've said it before, I'm not a software engineer, but I'd like to see the same good quality across the board. Luckily for me, I use Virtual Video Control Room for almost every show, which treats SRT and RTMP interchangeably and converts between them. This test will have me using RTMP more than I'd like, honestly. I mean, I prefer the reliability and statistics that SRT gives you. I would love vMix to improve SRT quality so we can get the best of both. I hope this video helped you improve the quality of your productions, and please hit the like button and subscribe if it did. If you haven't already, let us know which encoders you want us to test next. Thanks for your participation, and we'll see you next time.